So hello, hello everyone. I'll try to be quick as we oh, wait for lunch for some time now. So let's talk about something different, um, data visualization on the web, WebGIS. So Leaflet, I think, is quite fa uh, known in this community. Um, so in, in the context of uh, thematic mapping, um, of course, we can uh, create thematic maps in any kind of library. Uh, this time, Leaflet has been chosen for various reasons. Um, thematic mapping requires some expertise, expertise uh, to, to create a product that is uh, legible and then it has some uh, requirements um, or basic principles. Uh, Leaflet uh, lacks uh, a straightforward uh, approach to create thematic maps that adhere to these principles. Um, there are some tutorials on the Leaflet's off official website, but they are, they are quite basic and static in terms of hard, they are hard-coded. Oops, can I go back? Um, they are, they are hard-coded uh, with, with the classes and, and values. Um, so what, what do we do currently in Leaflet if you want to create a thematic map? Uh, of course, we have to classify it somehow. Maybe we launch QGIS and uh, any kind of software and classify our data. We also have to do it uh, the symbology uh, beforehand. So we have the classes, the exact uh, values, and uh, the symbology for them. And uh, also we have to have a legend uh, for the interactive web map. So we have to code some uh, in HTML and CSS to have a good-looking uh, legend. Um, as a solution, uh, we introduced a plugin uh, uh, for this that combines all the three processes. So we just uh, use uh, some GeoJSON data with uh, quantitative attributes. Uh, we create the layer uh, based on this. Of course, we have some settings that, that we can uh, choose and set um, that define the whole classification method and the symbology things. And also, it generates a legend automatically, so we don't have to mess with that. We, in the end, we have a final map object that's presentable and uh, looks great. Basically, these are all the options. It's not the main point. Only three are required, of course. The classification method we want to use, uh, the class count we want to classify the features in, and uh, the attribute field that uh, the classification is based on. Um, so some of the features, just quickly. Uh, it has three main dependencies, Chroma.js for color-related things. Uh, it uses simple statics.js for some of the classification methods. And uh, if we use uh, hatch uh, field patterns, then we have to use the leaflet hatch class plugin developed by the co-author uh, of this paper, uh, Mike Ashkede. Um, so the goal is to provide uh, an easy way of creating maps uh, with a very high degree of uh, customization. Uh, it supports all the well-known classification methods uh, and we can also use our own classes if we want to just leverage the, uh, the symbology and legend features of the plugin. Uh, we can do data normalization on the fly if we use uh, raw data or values in the attributes. Uh, it handles uh, no data features as well, so it, it either creates a different class for them or just we just omit uh, them. Uh, it supports uh, some methods of distinction. So for points, we can use symbol, color, and size to distinguish between classes. Uh, for lines, uh, of course, uh, line color and also width. And for polygons, we can operate with uh, fill uh, color and also the hedge pattern fills uh, that, we, that I mentioned uh, uh, with the leaflet edge class plugin. Uh, it also supports uh, class boundary rounding to make the legend just a little bit more clearer, and we can also use a complete, uh, you, you can customize the legend with templates, placeholders, so it, this opens for uh, internationalization, and uh, we can basically create any kind of uh, map that's in, in any language or so. Um, so just uh, quickly some examples created with this uh, plugin. Uh, these are just sample data sets, uh, so these are points uh, distinguished by color and uh, symbol size. Um, these are lines, again, based on color and uh, line width. Um, I think uh, it's, it's quite cool to, to create some of these uh, maps. 
um, especially for river dis discharge, the width. Um, for polygons, these are both uh, distinguished by fill cars. Mm. And uh, oh, as I mentioned, it also supports uh, hash fields. That's the more interesting or traditional part of cartography. Uh, this this uh, map is created uh, with that. So just a quick summary. Uh, in performance, we evaluated it. Uh, it's detailed in the paper, but it's uh, quite fast. I don't think I have to go into detail. So this uh, plugin just uh, allows uh, creation of uh, great looking uh, thematic maps that, that are cartographically comprehensive even for users who have no programming knowledge uh, or uh, cartographic knowledge. Um, yeah, and hopefully this uh, plugin facilitates uh, the creation of uh, appealing thematic maps, uh, web maps, um, for various purposes, uh, let it be scientific or not. Um, so as a closing slide, you can find this on GitHub, of course. Um, you can find all the example pages uh, there on GitHub pages and you can play with it if you are interested. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>